Luckily, that thing was there, or that would have <laughs> been way worse. Brody fell on <laughs> What's good? It's your boy Sheen. Swizz and Bird. And we are jumping back into Breaking Bad today. We are on episode 10 of season 3. Last episode, our guy Hank recovering a little bit. Skylar kind of pushing her buttons with saying it's our money. So they basically told Marie a facade story to kind of clear both of their sides in a way. So I want to see how this leads into the end of the season. And eventually, if Marie finds out the season or the next, those questions that are going to come with how Walt figured out that gambling system to, you know, get get that much money but things are starting to topple on top of each other make sure you guys head over to our patreon and check our patreon out because we have tons of content over there we are weeks ahead just know by the time you guys get this we're going to be deep into season four so if you want to jump a couple weeks ahead you should definitely head over there and sub up we also got a link in the description for our discord so if you want to talk about anything under the sun you can do so in our discord so make sure you click that link you head over there and you start chit chatting. But without further ado, let's jump back into Breaking Bad. Let's get it. So demon hours, the highs and hours. Hot. Also, Jesse, I think his his skimping is gonna be coming into play this episode two. This guy taking drugs off the top. My oh boy, I don't wanna do it no more. Bugging. But he made that contract, so for that deal that they're gonna be doing it for a year. Not only tell Jesse three months. Guys, you know. make us do that. Yo, know, if this is supposed to be all like major league and all, we should have equipment maintainer guys. Gatorade me, bitch. There's a couple funkies in here. Chris Wright. 15 hours starts now. I don't understand. What? These numbers, they just don't add up. Told you, dude's totally boning us. It's our output, we're off. We're 0.14% off. Means we should be netting more than we're netting. So how far off are we? It's not negligible. Quarter to a half a pound shy. Uh, well, what about spillage? Stuff gets spilled. Nothing gets spilled. Like, bro, you make it enough money to where you don't have to do that dumb shit. He find out he's been taking shit. I will whoop Jesse to the end of time. Lie trying to tell him something. Okay, I don't land it right on the paper. If Jesse hid the other shit in there, he's an idiot. Because there would be no way for him to take it out right now. You know, once you start missing them flies for a little bit, they start antagonizing you. Yeah, I know. Do not do that. Not Tom Brady. I knew he was gonna do that. Like, bro, you're an idiot. Step on glass. <laughs> bro, this dumb ass gonna fall. Yo, what is in that? He fall. You gonna get your old ass on the other side? Luckily, that thing was there, or that would have <laughs> been way worse. Brody fell on side. <sighs> take a little nap, boy. Told you they start antagonizing you when you start missing them. I think Jesse could sneak that out. Just stuff it. They're not, it's not like they're really checking in. Got a lipstick on it. Are popping. Shut the door. Move. Freaking kills, yo. Well, just move your jaw around. Move it around. I am moving around. That's probably the makeup for that percentage that he was saying that they were losing. 
I've turned the ventilation up to keep the outside out. There's uh, been a contamination. Whoa, 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 hey, hold up. Something got into the lab. So it's like not dangerous? Not to us, particularly, no. We're trying to do all that to kill the fly? Exactly what kind of contaminant are we dealing with here? A fly. A fly, like, like, what do you mean? I mean, a fly, a house fly. Hey, bro, you tweaking. What'd it do? It got into the lab and I'm trying to get it out, okay? Understand? Dude, you scared the shit out of me. I mean, we say it's contamination. I mean, I'm thinking like a, like an Ebola leak or something. Ebola? Tell me, what would a West African virus be doing in our lab? You're chasing around a fly, and in your world, I'm the idiot. In terms of keeping our cook clean and our product unadulterated, we need to take this very seriously. Now imagine a fly get into the batch that you're making. So is that your fly saver? This is a swatter. What happened to your, your head? Nothing. I'm fine. My head is not the problem, Jesse. The fly is the problem. Man, Walt losing me right now. I ain't gonna lie. Were you here all night? Have you even slept? Dude, he said I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, look, we're running late, so let's just get started, shall we? The sooner we do it, the sooner we're done. What are you doing? It's time to alkaline. Not heard a word I said. No cooking until this fly is dealt with. How long is this batch gonna be good for? An hour or two? The, the batch will be good for nothing if we don't clear the contaminant. We're making meth here. All right, not space shuttles. We're making nothing until we catch this fly. I am not going to expose this batch to the open air and contamination, period. We are running out of time, so I need your answer right now. What's acting weird? Maybe he need to do some of the product. How about that one? Even government he about doesn't to do care. This. He about to fuck he it. going to do it, and the fly going to fly in there. And, uh, you know, see what I'm trying to do. What are you doing? Oh, he's a ninja. Hey. Little sodium hydroxide, shut the lid, no harm done, then we're golden. Bro, gotta have a concussion or something. You don't just act weird over a concussion. He's just tweaking. You can't order shit, Adolf, all right? We're 50 50 partners. Oh. Ah! Ugh, what is your problem? You see his face? It's on his see? head. You see it? I would smack the shit out of his forehead, kill that John. I'm moving slowly, yeah. He been waiting Absolutely. on this move. I'm just gonna need your swatter thing. Hey, bro, you don't need to use my swatter. Just smack him. Cause he just not hit him with it. I need my lick back. One. You like that? Huh? Hurts, huh? Yo. He didn't even get it. Did you get it? I think so, yeah. Where is it? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Oh, right there. Look. Look. See? I told you I got it. This is a raisin. Look, I definitely got it, man. Right? How didn't they get this fly yet? It will ruin our batch. And we need to destroy it and every trace of it so we can cook. Failing that, we're dead. There is no more room for error. Not with these people. Because he knows about what they did to Hank. You know, maybe if we went and got some air, it would help us come up with a plan on how to catch it. Then come back down here and subtract his ass. They're not going to be able to get back in. Guys, is idiots, man. Oh, wait, wait. Do you have your keys? Yeah. Yeah. Hey! If you're not going to help me, stay out of my way! Bro, it is weird. I can use Alaxo. 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 So you're gonna break the door. Bro, these guys, man. Bro, these two together are the worst people possible, bro. So he gonna touch some shit that he not supposed to. There we go. As soon as he about to hit it, he gonna... Uh. Say goodnight. Now they can't cook. Eat some juice? Maybe? Knock yourself out. 
It's a real one. No, no. Look, we're trying to decontaminate. You don't decontaminate by contaminating further. Non-toxic glue strips. Yeah, baby. It's got pheromones, all right? I got a butler. We hang them up all over the place. We won't be able to resist. Well, I sure hope we have enough. <sighs> I go out on a limb and say, uh, yeah. Just figure, you know, you could use some coffee is all. I know I could. That boy had Gail had the coffee. Oh, such a creep. About to put him to sleep and then cook. Yeah, he's bugging. Bro, he put like six pills in that jar. Like a wild animal trapped in your house. They do so much shit behind each other's backs, bro. Right. Hey, since when did they change it to opossum? What's up with that? I mean, when I was when I was coming up, it was just possum. Alien rats. Work on the sleep, bro. I mean, it's like you're not looking right at it. My oh boy, feet. He's shaking. That boy losing balance. A point that you, he'll be arriving at sometime in the near future. I was just a total bitch. Took it out. You know, took forever. Guy came, set all these traps and all. Boy, I like young boy right now falling asleep. I mean, she kept insisting she could still hear the thing. And you could not tell her any different. It's definitely been an hour since he put that batch. He was saying it was a good for an hour or two. Because he went out that. to go grab stuff, too. Scrabble. Yeah, that was it. Scrabble, just knock it off. Bang, bang, bang. Got like that toward the end. Damn. Got obsessive about stuff. Just got mad. It wasn't like her to uh, be that way. But it turned out that the um, cancer came the down. cancer had spread to her brain, and that was why. But it was good that that was when we decided to you know, take her to the doctor, because then we knew what was up. Meds, so she wasn't stressing all the time. You know, she was a lot happier. Where the hell is he? Oh, you didn't hear anything I said? But Jesse really cared, though. Yeah. I've been to my oncologist, Jesse, just last week. I'm still in remission. I'm healthy. No end in sight. That's great. For him, it's not, though. That's what the other people don't understand. It. Some perfect moment, and it passed me right by. I had to have enough to leave them. That was the whole point. And this makes any sense if I... If I didn't have enough, but it had to be before she found out. Skylar. As she know, it's a rat for all that, my boy. To drop dead? What, are you saying you want to die? I'm saying I've lived too long. You want them to actually miss you, you know? Yeah. You want their memories of you to be, but she just won't. She just won't understand. I mean, I truly believe there exists some combination of words, specific order that would explain all of this, but I just can't ever seem to find them. I think this is why I always just sit down. I was thinking maybe before the fugue state, but before the fugue state, I didn't have enough money, so no. And uh, plus, my, my daughter wasn't born yet. It had to be after Holly was born. Damn second cell phone. Ah, oh, I know the moment. It was the night Jane died. My heart just dropped. Is he about to tell him on the accident? Bro. But afterward, I the hurry. The bar. He about to bug out. It was odd. I never do that. He about to say that and then fall asleep. I, I sit down and this man, this stranger, he engages me in conversation. He's a complete stranger. But, it, but he turns out to be Jane's father. What are you I'm talking about? Of course, I, I didn't know it at the time. And I just, I didn't put it together until after the crash when he was all over the news. Jane's dad. I mean, think of the odds. I mean, think of the odds of me going and sitting down that night in that bar next to that man. What'd you talk about? Water on Mars. What about family? I told him that I had a daughter, and he told me he had one too. And he said, 
Never give up on family. I took his advice. Oh my God, he's about to tell him. What is it telling us when on the very night that this man's daughter dies? It's me who's having a drink with him. How can that be random? Oh, hey, sit down. No, oh, no. Oh, that, that was the moment. I should never have left home. Never gone to your house. Oh, maybe things would have. Bro, he got me so scared, bro. They're going to end it like that. Oh, if I had just lived right up to that moment. And not one second more. That would have been perfect. They had the money. Jane would have been alive. He would have been able to leave. Is that really what flies be seeing? Hey, hey, wait. Here. He's staying up there forever. What are you doing? They be doing too much. It's never that serious, bro. That shit is not see. No, you're gonna break your neck. Yeah, yeah. Just, no. He's gonna fall into the batch or something. Just hold on to it. Just hold it still. Well, he about to fall asleep. You know what you just gave him? I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Being a lunatic? No way. Sorry about Jane. Me too. I, I mean, I'm very sorry. It's not your fault. No. Oh. It's not mine either. It's no one's fault. Not even hers. Like, bro, and this shit got wheels at the bottom. Like, come on, bro. And we are who we are. Mr. White, two junkies with a duffel bag full of cash. Like you said, we both would have been dead within a week. Never know. I miss her, though. No, they definitely would have died. Let it go. What about the contamination? It's all contaminated. All them hours and shit for nothing, bro. Definitely scared him. I stay out of her way. That bit stiff as shit. <laughs> that bit stiff as shit. That bit was stiff as shit hit the ground like that. <laughs> Draw. How's the yield? 202 and change. You okay getting home? Yeah, better. He could have took however much he wanted. Well, what was so yeah. me how much he wanted? I couldn't chance saying it inside. For all I know, the lab's wired for sound. That's half a pound. I said, you're off by. Now, I'm not accusing you. But if, you understand? And if they ever found out. I didn't take a shit. I'm just saying that I won't be able to protect you. Who's asking you to? Your water ain't dumb. Stupid if you thought he was stupid. Stupid. Someone was this end. close. Something's gonna end same. up happening to Walt Jr. because of him doing this. And it's gonna be like they even now. Because he lost Jane and he's gonna end up losing Walt Jr. or something. Yeah, right. Remember he said he, whenever they got the animal out the crib, she kept hearing it. If the cancer did spread, you're gonna have to go get checked. What? It's either that bit spread or that boy just the fly followed him home, said this man's after him. Like, Tuco did. That was the end of episode 10, season 3, Breaking Bad. A little, it was a slow episode, of course. Basically, just Jesse and Walt hashing some things out. Walt harping on a lot of things that he's done. 
and wishing things would have been different. The whole plan was to have enough for his family for when he was gone. But now he's at the point where he has enough and he's losing sight of why he's really doing this, I believe. His whole point at the beginning was he had to get some money to save for his family. But now he has it and he's still cooking. So I think he's just conflicted at the moment. And then also with holding all the secrets that he has, it's taking a toll on him. Jesse has been there for a while in a way. Even though if he doesn't think he has, Jesse definitely has been. And Wall has definitely been there for Jesse in ways that he can't explain. So I think at a point, a lot of these secrets are going to come to light on both sides. Hopefully what Jesse's doing it doesn't leak over into their personal lives and something bad happens to someone that they love again because of what Jesse is doing. Definitely enjoying this series. I think we needed an episode like this. Just think about everything that's been happening throughout these seasons and, you know, put it all together. It gave us an episode to really see how the relationship between Walt and Jesse is. So I believe next episode we'll probably get some information on Walt's cancer. But that story Jesse told, I believe the cancer might have spread or at least came back in a way. So if that does happen, Walt was talking about it like the perfect moment. He's going to have his moment. It just, you know, he can't determine if it's going to be the perfect moment or not. But yep, next episode should be uh, action packed one for sure. My man, Walt, like I said, got so close to telling Jesse what happened. I feel like it's going to come to points where that information does get out. And I don't know how Jesse's going to take it. Because like he just said, it was nobody's fault. It wasn't his, wasn't hers, wasn't Walt. So, and then that's going to bring a lot of trauma back too, if it does get out. Because at one point, Jesse did blame himself for it. But blame if he Walt. knows that Walt had a chance to, you know what I mean, save Jane... He's definitely going to have some hate towards Walt for that. But then if you think about it, like that perfect moment that Walt was talking about, that he won it or that he had the chance to have, the whole Jane situation wouldn't have happened, which would have prevented Jane from dying. It would have prevented that plane from crashing. It also would have prevented Skylar knowing exactly what's going on with him and what he's been doing this whole time. So for him, that was like his perfect scenario. And then this also goes back to the episode when he found out that he was in remission and he went in the bathroom and punched the wall. We said something about it that it was a moment for him to where he lost that sight of what he, or that end goal, like he was saying, like there's no end point anymore. Um, and he had that time frame to where he knew. So um, he knew at six, seven months or a year from now, I'll be dead. So everything I'm doing would just be kind of washed away. And then all I'd be left is that money that me and Jesse was able to make, whereas now all the secrets for the whole Skylar situation is out. Skylar's left him. Um, he lives by himself. Um, he did the shit with Jane or to Jane. So it's like a lot of stuff he can't live with because of that, which is forcing him. Now that he's out of, or he's in remission, it's forcing him to live with it. Whereas before he wasn't really thinking about it. You know what I mean? So um, it's a sad situation on both sides. Hopefully nothing happens to where Gus finds out that Jesse or one of them, you know what I mean? Cause he's not gonna really care who took it. He's just gonna know one of them is taking and selling he on the side. So um, it's gonna put Walt in a bad position. And when he, if I, he's definitely gonna find out. I was gonna put Walt in a bad position on what Gus and them's relationship because they just also made that deal. So uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how this all play out. But if you enjoyed our reaction, make sure you like the video, comment down below, let us know your thoughts on it, subscribe button, the bell icon so you can notify. We drop these videos. We appreciate y'all. Thank you for all the love and support, man. It means a lot to us. Close the night on finishing this season. We got like I think two more episodes, three more episodes, and then we'll be done with this season. By the time you guys get this, we're gonna be, you know what I mean, basically on season five by the time yeah. you guys get this on YouTube. So we're gonna go ahead and skip basically a whole season ahead. Go check it out. But until the next video, kids reacted.